How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 7 of our little editing session videos that we do every Sunday. And today we're looking at a top-down drone photo that I got just a few weekends ago in southern Utah. And let's jump into Lightroom here and see what we can do with it. So as you can see, we've got these cool patterned hills and all these neat textures and colors and it's just it, it's it looks kind of messy um, but I think we can we can turn it into something that's really really cool so I took this right before the sun hit as you can see actually right here at the uh, the middle of the photo uh, there's some sun starting to kind of just touch the tops of these hills right here so let's see what we can do with this with this photo uh, first off I think we're going to bump the temperature up just a little bit actually hey, you know what actually I don't think I am I'm gonna leave the temperature right there um, I actually am going to crop it though so I'm going to come up here to my crop tool right now I'm in Lightroom Classic and I'm coming over to my crop tool and I'm going to just bring it into a 2 by 3 aspect ratio and I'm gonna bring it up to the top that bottom section just doesn't add a lot to the image in my opinion so we're just gonna cut out a bit of it um, we'll add a little bit of contrast maybe raise a little bit of shadows bring the highlights up uh, maybe the whites we're just gonna kind of brighten up the image a little bit I guess maybe we will actually add a little bit of warmth right there um, yeah right there I like that uh, 5418 and bring the blacks down just to add a little bit of contrast um, what does our vibrancy do uh, maybe a little bit you know what I'm actually let's maybe raise the shadows just a little bit more just to bring out a little bit more of the uh, the really dark points and yeah I think we'll leave it probably about right there just up in the contrast again um, let's do a little tone curve I'm gonna drop the uh, darks here and I'm actually gonna do a little mid uh, a little mid tones um, contrast right here I'm gonna bring this down it's gonna look a little wonky at first but we're gonna come through and fix oh not like that we're gonna come through and fix that here in just a minute with some masks and that's all right right there okay um oh, let's close out of that crop okay so I think what I'm gonna do now is just come down to my HSL tab I'm gonna pull some of the blues down and a little further I don't want it to be too blue um, we drop those. Yeah, that's a little better. Nothing too crazy. Um, we raise some of the purples a little bit. Yeah, right there. Okay. Now, what I want to do, I want to add a little bit of a light source to this. So, as you can see, we've got some light hitting the tops of these hills right here. And I want to be able to show that in the photo. So, I'm going to create a little bit of a light source right up here at the very top of the image. So I'm going to come over to my masking panel. I'm going to hit radial gradient. I'm going to draw a big old circle right there at the top. And I think that's probably good right there. This is going to give us some really nice uh, warm and cool contrast. So we're going to get a lot of nice warm light at the top and then at the bottom we're going to leave it fairly blue, fairly uh, fairly cool. So it'll just create some nice, nice contrast in the photo. I'm going to turn that feather down just a little bit more and let's raise our exposure I'm gonna raise the blacks and I'm going to raise the temperature we're gonna bring it up to probably probably right there I think it's pretty good um, bring up the whites just give it a little more punch um, drop the highlights just a little bit okay I think that's pretty good we'll bump the saturation actually just slightly Okay, so now what I want to do is let's just darken down some of the edges here. So I'm going to create another radial gradient and we're going to zoom out, uh, expand that feather and I'm going to invert it and I'm going to put the center of that radial gradient about in the middle of that lighter spot and then just make sure we cover these uh, dark areas and I'm just going to drop the exposure ever so slightly. Uh, maybe drop some of the whites and the highlights a little bit. I don't want it to be... Oh, come on. There we go. I don't want to uh, drop everything into an absolute black state, but I think it's pretty good right there. 
Hmm, let's see, I might actually on the overall photo, I might bump the contrast just a little bit. Yeah, I do like that. Maybe drop the highlights. Yeah, that's cool. I think we'll actually warm it up a little more. Yep, I like that. Okay, now one thing I wanted to do is I'm going to uh, target some of these hills right here at the bottom right section. They're a little bright. I don't want to have these be too bright because it's taking away from the um, already bright spot at the center of our frame. So I'm going to create a new mask and we're going to do a little brush here. Uh, I'm going to keep my flow and density down a little bit, uh, feather at max, and then I'm going to just kind of cover these brighter spots ever so slightly. And we're just going to drop the exposure and maybe the highlights a little bit. Uh, maybe hit some, whoop, don't do that. Hit some of those again. Let's close this panel on the left to give us more room. There we go. Okay, hit some of those spots up there. Okay, drop the whites. Yeah, that's cool. I do like that. Let's see. Now, I think what I want to do is just maybe darken down some of these darker spots just a little bit more. So I'm going to come over to my masking panel and I'm going to hit brush. And again, actually I'm going to raise the flow and density just ever so slightly. And then I'm just going to kind of touch on the very, very corners of the image. There's pretty good. Just a little bit more dark. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far. Um, I don't know, it's not really, it's not really punching just yet. So let's see, let's drop the highlights. Whoop, not the shadows. Keep the shadows up. I'm gonna drop the highlights quite a bit more actually. And I might actually come down here and hit the, uh, hit my dehaze just a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of cool right there. And I'm gonna raise the blacks. Give it somewhat of a, a faded look. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't mind that. I'm just playing with the top of that tone curve. Yeah, that's cool right there. I might come through here actually and... Hmm. I might expand this a little bit. So I have my, my gradient here for the uh, that little light hit. I'm just gonna bring it in and just make it a little bit bigger. Whoops. Just like that. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see here. Okay, you know what, actually? I might come back here. I might actually take this mask back down a little bit. I don't know if I'm liking it so bright up there. I don't know. Yeah, that's a little bit better right there, I think. And I'm actually going to expand this, my little vignette one here, a little bit. Okay. I think that's kind of cool. Not too bad. I'm going to boost the whites. Oh, not that much. Just a little bit more. Make sure my highlights are dropped. Okay, I do like that quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna play with my HSL just a little bit again. Yeah, not too bad. Um, bring the blues down a little bit more maybe. Yeah, I like that a lot. I don't wanna take all the blue out, but um, I do want it to be a little more subtle. So. That's cool, I think that makes it pretty neat. Pretty neat image there. Yeah. Um, I think we'll keep it about right there. Okay, so now what I think I'm going to do is just do a little or an effect on this. So I'm gonna hit Command and E. And it's going to bring us into Adobe Photoshop. There we go. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is just hit Command J. I'm gonna unlock that background layer. I'm gonna stay on my layer one here. I'm just going to title it um, Orton. And then I'm going to come up here to Filter. 
make sure you're on that Orton layer. Come into filter, uh, go to blur, gouging blur, and then I'm going to bump this up to about 40 just because that was the me megapixels of the actual photo and hit OK. And then once that applies, we're going to come over to image, hit adjustments, brightness, contrast, and then we're going to jack the contrast up, maybe jack the brightness up a little bit as well, hit OK, come back to image up at the top, a uh, little uh, toolbar, hit adjustments, Oop, and then come down to color balance. And we're going to just bring a little bit more warmth into those uh, glowy tones that we're going to create here. So I'm just adding a little bit of yellow, maybe a tiny bit of magenta, hitting highlights, adding yellow. I usually come up to about negative 10, negative 12-ish on yellows. And then I hit OK. And I'm going to come over to my TK Luminosity Mask. Uh, it's just a, a plugin that you can buy, or you don't even have to buy, actually, it's free. It's a, uh, it's a free plugin on Adobe Creative Cloud. It um, allows you to create very, very easy uh, luminosity masks in Photoshop. So I'm going to hit my little T luminosity mask panel and I'm going to hit lights one and this is just going to hit all of the brighter points on the uh, on the photo. I'm going to apply and then I'm going to come down to my blend mode, hit soft light and I'm going to turn that down to, I usually keep that probably about 40. So we'll do a little before and after. It just gives a little bit of a a color and, and kind of contrast boost and then I'm going to select both of these so I'm clicking on the first one holding command clicking the second one and then I'm going to combine them into one layer so I'm gonna hit command option shift and E we have a good layer there and I'm going to come up to filter and do a high pass filter this is just going to give a little bit of sharpness so hit OK I usually keep that about 2.0 by the way uh, come over to my sharpening layer and it comes to blend mode hit soft light and there we go now I'm just gonna hit command W close this out of Photoshop okay so now we are back here in Lightroom um, I think I'm going to um, bring down my highlights a little bit actually maybe boost the contrast just ever so slightly um, let's actually make another radial gradient and we're going to invert this just another little vignette layer or not layer excuse me mask and I'm just going to drop the exposure just a tiny bit maybe the white just a tiny bit and I think that's pretty cool right there so I'm going to look at this on soft proofing just because that's something that I like to do I like to see it with a white border just to see what it kind of looks like and I think that's pretty cool I think it's a neat little abstract image um these oh actually hold on one second i do want to try something so i'm going to actually come over here to the tone curve i'm going to raise the blacks just a little tiny bit and then i'm going to bring that black point down bring this down as well and then bring up that middle and there we go i think that's cool so we got a before and after we just kind of tone down some of those really really bright points so I just kind of muted it a little bit. That's just, I mean, that's kind of how I wanted to do it, but obviously you can do it however you want. But yeah, I really like this photo. Let me know what you think about it. Um, again, I just, I love like the colors. I love the patterns in it. It's a little bit more abstract and I think it's really cool. It's something that I've been trying to open myself up to a little bit more recently is just it's kind of more abstract and, and kind of top down or um, I don't know, just different styles of photography. So I, I like how this turned out. I think it's cool with that kind of glow at the top and you've got these these rainbowy kind of hills kind of framing um the uh the middle of the uh the photo and i don't know it just kind of creates a photo that allows your eyes to be able to wander a little bit and kind of explore what's going on explore the different patterns and and colors so i think it's cool let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to come back next week because we do these every single sunday so let me know if you have any questions let me know if you would like to see any other types of photos edited any other types of editing techniques done there, there's so many and I, I have a lot that i'm going to be doing but i just let me know what you want to see and i'll you know expedite those so but in the meantime i hope you have a good one thank you so so much for watching and we will see you next time bye